we are doing everything we can to ensure that we never have to go back to that scenario. Um, I would contemplate that scenario if there was a risk to life um, or to the infrastructure of the provision of health services in Gibraltar, such that the Director of Public Health advised us that we should consider restraining people's personal liberty. And under our constitution, remember, we have a written constitution. Our position is not the same as the United Kingdom, where things are unwritten and operate by way of, of uh, codes and uh, etc. We have a written constitution. And under our written constitution, the government is unable to restrict people's liberty unless it is necessary. And one of the reasons for which it is necessary is public health, the protection of human life and public health, uh, public security uh, being the other potential reason for doing so. Um, that's how we approached it last year. And that, I think, is so serious that I would never take that step without the whole cabinet being in agreement and without calling once again upon the leader of the opposition to understand why it was that we were making that draconian decision. There's nothing more against my instinct as a libertarian, as a civil libertarian, than to restrict the liberty of my fellow citizens. So it would have to reach that level of concern again before we acted.